Hello everybody, this is Kevin back with Inspiring How You See That, and I am back again with a Tech Tuesday. Um, and this is in regards to a lot of questions with DaVinci, and we're going to be doing a lot of different things again in 2024 uh, with DaVinci, so be watching out for that. Um, a lot more segments here in 2024. But this is to the question about um, the DaVinci Resolve free program. We had some issues in 2023 with some of the updates with the free program. And we're going to cover reasonings why, um, not only with the free and some of the benefits to the paid program. Um, so what we did is we went back and we tested quite a few different things in our, we have a couple different computer systems that we can utilize to test this out. And we tested out some of the free issues. And what we had was where you guys were saying it was locking up from screen to screen, or if you had a video segment in there that was a really long video you were editing, it would take a while to either read that file or transition that file. Here's the problem with that. Um, yes, it is It is a free program. Um, so a lot of the coding and the processing isn't as quick as the paid program. And one, yes, that's, that's gonna happen. Two, the main issue to that was the downloading process during the, the either an update didn't come through all the way. So what we always recommend is either fully remove that and then re-upload your uh, the new uh, version again. Try it that way, and usually all the files will process and go go back into your DaVinci and all the files that they're you know extracting from their program should slowly come into your computer. And then once that's all in there. It isn't going to lag as much or be as problematic. Um, I can't guarantee you that it's not going to, you know, happen from time to time, especially when you're going through and you're processing it. Give it a few seconds. It does take some time. Um, the other thing is always make sure that they're your most current on their most current update. So keep them keep them current. That does help a lot. If you don't keep them current, sometimes that can, you know, screw it up too. It's just like your updates on your phone. I mean, it. it Unfortunately, if you don't update it, things just don't work right and certain apps don't work right. The same thing with this uh, program. Um, so that's the basics for the, the free program. And the reason why I wanted to talk a little bit about the paid program is because we're going to be doing a lot more segments within the paid program for you guys out there that do have the paid program because there's a lot of benefits to the paid program. If you can you know, splurge for that, I would recommend that, especially if you're doing a lot of editing saves you a ton of time. Um, so with the paid program, um, the processing is a lot quicker. It doesn't lock up as much. Um, we noticed that after we had upgraded, you know, um, a while back with the paid program, it doesn't have as many issues because of course they put in more, uh, you know, processing, uh, coding and things that, you know, help speed it up. And that's, that's why you're paying for it. I mean, it's, it, there's a lot more added. Um, Again, make sure you do like and subscribe to these segments so that way you'll get a notification anything that we're putting out there because we're going to be doing a lot more uh, Tech Tuesdays with, you know, OBS, with all the other, you know, whether it be product reviews, whether it be editing or, you know, some of the, the camera system tips that we've been doing, uh, the 3D printer, whatever it may be. Uh, we try to mix them all in and get all the questions um, answered in, you know, in a timely process, but we do get a lot of questions. So we hope you enjoy and we'll see you on the next segment.